Well, we've done a little rearranging. Well, my wife did, because uh, we like the sun in the morning during the winter. The sun comes up over here. And uh, in the summer, sitting this way, we can, you know, the sun's not in our eyes. But look at this. That's a little bit right there. And there's Mary. <laughs> That's just, that, it's just too much. I seen a little bit do something really, uh, you know, they take, they protect themselves. Well, Mary had been pecking her in the, she goes for her face. Oh, no know? kidding. Yeah. So they were walking up here and a little bit, you know how they do when the rooster comes for them? Yeah. Well, she fluffed up all of her feathers, laid down, tucked her head down, but she made a, you know, fluffed all up. Yeah. Like, I, I thought she was going to fight, but she didn't. She just turned her head, and Mary left her alone. Huh. That's her way of... Maybe that's a sign of submission or something. I guess. Well, you know, they do that for the rooster, you know, how right. they lay right. down. and. Well, that's what she did. She, But her neck feathers were all yeah. up on her head. <laughs> She's got some long feathers. That's what they did. When she came up there, I guess it's a protection, and Mary walked off. Mary left her alone, but she's made a little... Oh, no. A little mark on her. Mary, you're a mean she is. chicken. She is. Okay, I have had one of those days. Uh, I bought the third belt for this lawnmower that my wife uses to Mary. drag a buggy around the yard. All right, y'all. Mary. Y'all quit. Don't start. Well, at least that chicken's not running from her anymore. She, she goes right for her head. Mary. <laughs> you. Stop it. Little bit, turn around and peck her. Yeah, you were the bully yeah. at the last place you Go were at. Until her Mary, stop being a bully. All right, then. So, uh, I finally, I got the right belt, right? <laughs> <laughs> I take everything apart. Oh, and let me tell you, the name of the lawnmower is Simplicity. What a crock a bull that is. I've never seen so much crap you got to do to put one stupid belt on. Boy, talk about being snake bit. I'm telling you. So this is a third belt, and sure enough, no, it's not the right belt. So I decided to uh, drain the oil on my Honda because it's got 630 or 40 miles on it, and uh, it says in the owner's manual that you're supposed to drain the oil after 600 miles, you know, tr change the oil. So, uh, I got the, uh, filter number and, uh, did a, a crossover in the book, standing in O'Reilly's Auto Parts, cro did a crossover for the number and bought a Wix filter. Wix, you know, they're good filter. Wix, Purilator, even Napa, they're all good filters. Anything but Fram. So, uh, come home and, uh, drain my oil. And I take the old Honda filter off, and I go to screw the new filter on, and I look at it, and I'm thinking, mm, those threads don't look the same. Of course, I got the wrong stinking filter. So, I go to Yamaha to get the right filter. And on my way to Yamaha, I have a bunch of oil field equipment that I just pulled out on the road from a side road. And they hit a bump. As I was going by them at 65 and cracked my windshield. My windshield on my brand new pickup truck. And then, these stupid things. I ordered these a month ago. Uh, right at a month, maybe a little more than a month. Let me see one. They're actually kind of nice, but you know, they're cheap. They're genuine pleather. These are fork bags. And I needed something right away to put on our motorcycles to put glasses and a hat and our registration and insurance and stuff like that because there's nowhere on either one of these bikes to put anything. And like, uh, you need, need 
Ma yeah, my makeup and lotion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and my hair gel. <laughs> I, I haven't bought makeup in, okay, <laughs> 30 years. Anyway, because, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I can't, when I ordered these, they sent me a confirmation saying it would be, you know, six to eight weeks before they could ship these. And I immediately, immediately, within like minutes of ordering these, canceled them. And they want a reason for canceling. And I say, well, I need them in a couple of days, not in a couple of months. So I get a reply from the guy and based on the type of uh, English he was using, I would suspect that he was a Middle Easterner. Because this is the, you know, of course when I'm reading a reply, I can only imagine. But based on the words he was using and put, putting together, it, in my mind I was reading it like this. Oh, have no worries, my friend. You will receive it in 10 days or less, my friend. No worries. You don't need a refund. Don't be disrespectful. <laughs> so, yeah, another 10 days goes by, and, you know, I have no tracking number, no nothing. So I sent him another email asking him to at least give me a tracking number. It's been 20 days. Where are they? So he, no words. He just sends me a tracking number, and it says that they're in customs in California. And that's it. And another 10 days goes by, and I contact Amazon. I demand a refund. Uh, so they start the process. And today, what's on my mailbox but these stupid things? So I don't know whether I'm going to get a refund or not. Uh, I don't know what to do. They're really, really cheap. They weren't much. And, uh, you know, they'll hold stuff. So in the meantime, I ordered another bag. Genuine leather. Genuine cowhide. And uh, I should have that in a couple of days. So I'm probably just going to keep these because, you know, you got to carry gloves. And uh, I want a place to put my gun because I don't want to go places far away from home without having uh, <clears throat> a means of shooting my way back home or, or hijacking a bus or robbing a bank. You never know. Anyway, that's how my day is gone. And here's, well, I won't tell you this bit of news until it happens. But stay tuned for some interesting news. If it happens, if not, just disregard this. Okay, new filters on. Uh, I have the largest part of the crankcase drain. There's this other bolt up in the front. There's two that you got to drain, and a few ounces comes out of that. But this is what six-year-old oil with 600 miles on it looks like. It's uh, surprisingly dirty. I mean, it's not the age, it's the use. It's only 600 miles on that oil. So, all right, let me dump it in a little container here, and uh, then I'm going to jack the bike up so I can get to the plug in the front. Okay, here's the, uh, the news that's still an if or a maybe. But, uh, you know, I've had a lot of trouble with this Yamaha. A lot of trouble. And, you know, likely to have more. So, I had to go back there today to get a filter for my Honda. And I spoke to the salesman. And they have a 2019 Honda Fury. Fury there. Which is, looks a lot like my bike, except it's got a, I think it's got a steeper rake, like 35 degrees uh, you know, slightly different, but uh, it looks a lot like my Honda State Line, but it's a Honda Fury. And uh, I told him that I was interested, and I had to talk it over with my wife, but I was interested in bringing that Yamaha back and see what kind of deal we can work on a Honda Fury, a brand new bike with a warranty. So uh, I come home, and me and Charlie talked about it, and she expressed interest in it you know had to modify it for her and it is uh, about an inch and a quarter inch and a half lower seat wise uh, so she'll have an easier time it's much much lighter so uh, yeah it'll be better all the way around plus it'll have a you know brand new warranty so 
Um, tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment and I will likely get the fuel pump for her uh, Yamaha. And I'll probably put that in tomorrow night, you know, dark 30. Because uh, UPS doesn't get here till late in the day. And Thursday, I will drive it over there. I'm not going to let myself get screwed. I mean, we may end up keeping this if they're going to, you know, not do right with that Yamaha. I've put a lot of money in it and fixed all the stuff that was wrong with it. So now when they sell it, it'll actually be a decent motorcycle for somebody. I mean, I suspect very shortly it will need a clutch, but a clutch is not uh, expensive. 150 bucks, you know, easy, easy job. Messy, but easy. That's not even that messy. You just drain the oil and pull the, the uh, engine case off. You do have to pull the uh, shifter linkage out and uh, the kickstand, and then you pull the engine case off on that side, uh, shifter side. But uh, big, no big deal at all, and it's not very expensive. So, if we end up keeping the bike, uh, you know, I'll do that, uh, you know, 10,000 miles. Who knows how, how long the clutch will last. So, that's the surprise. We may be getting a brand new bike, or I may be uh, keeping this bike and doing the very last thing it needs, which is a clutch. So, we will see you. Oh, you'll probably see a video Friday morning. No, no, I'm going to do the assembly video of that Honda, the uh, Yamaha Raider. And when I get that uh, fuel uh, pump in, housing, I'll put it all together and crank it up and fill it up with gas and, you know, crank it up, purge the air, and and I'll show you how it runs. I may even take it for a short spin. Okay, so you may see uh, Thursday morning, you may see a little bit of video of me putting that back together. See ya. So, just so you know, not that you care, uh, I'm done with Fox News. Fox News is dead to me. They are uh, true anti-Trumpers, and there's only one or two on there that are not anti-Trumpers. And I don't think they're going to be at Fox News very long, because Fox News has showed their true colors. So, Newsmax. I get Newsmax on my TV. And that's my go-to news channel from now on.